Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Welcome guys, God bless you, and welcome again to my page where it is an honor and privilege to always be under the supervision of the Lord and working with you guys. Well, today I want to ask everyone a question, and hopefully you can answer it the best way possible. Have you eaten the apple? Have you eaten the apple that was forbidden by God? Have you eaten it? I've often hear people talk about Eve and how she messed up the world and you know, oh Eve is crazy, man. She messed oh man. If I was if I seen Eve, I would have beat her up and oh how Eve messed up the world. You know, now we gotta we gotta all die and we gotta all go through this contractions and stuff like that. Oh Eve, Eve, Eve. If I was Eve, I would have did that. God told her not to do it. And she went and did that. Now look, we gotta suffer because of Eve. We gotta suffer, we gotta suffer with this. How many E's are in the world? How many Adams are in this world? Well, today I wanted to share this beautiful thing that came across me while I was taking a shower. And it says, have you eaten the forbidden apple? And basically, and that way, and I'll try my best to not keep the video long because I know there's a lot of people like me that don't like to watch things that so long. But... I believe if you have disobeyed God's word, you have eaten the forbidden apple. And what form does I say that? Because Eve disobeyed God. She disobeyed God. God told her not to eat this apple. You can eat of all the apple, but don't eat apple. God gave her, God gave her a clear instructions, and she disobeyed it. And not only did she disobey it, she tug her husband and she allowed Adam to eat it so they both fell so they both had to suffer the consequences so they both paid a price and so they both had to die so basically and this is where it comes to this have you eaten the forbidden apple I see a lot of Christian people like to judge and like to like you know like say oh this person is sinful and this is a sin and we we pick so much fingers but what about us? How have, how have you eaten this forbidden apple in your life? You may eat in it by the ten, not following the Ten Commandments. God say no fornicating. But you're living with a man and you're having sexual relationships with a man. And God told you no. You have eaten the forbidden apple. You, you're a woman and you're with a woman. You're a man and you're with a man. You have eaten the forbidden apple. Have you lied? You have eaten the forbidden apple. Have you lied to get food stamp or assistance just because you know it's better? You know I could get free food and free Medicaid and free this. Have you lied? A simple lie is still a lie before God. You know, the thing is, a lot of people, what they do is they, they believe they can change the mind of God. They can tell God, you know, well, if I do it like that, it's, it's not like I'm killing anybody. It's not like... But God has still laid out. He has still made a plan. He has still said what he want. You understand what I'm saying? It's not what, our, it's not what we want. That's why the Bible said we don't lean on our understanding, but the understanding of God. So how have you eaten the forbidden apple? Maybe I have for, eaten the forbidden apple because the Bible told us women, to, you know, like, I guess we, sometimes we're supposed to be silent. And I ain't a silent person. You know, sometimes we disobey our husband, not like not saying yes or okay. I I have learned that I need to be humble, so therefore I have eaten the forbidden apple in some form of way. And there's a lot of ways that you have eaten the forbidden apple, whether it's disobeying your parents, disobeying you know, disobeying your leaders, disobeying people who God has um, planted in front of you to lead you. You understand what I'm saying? How have you eaten the forbidden apple? Have you, have you checked on a, um, have you went into prisons and checked on prisoners? Have you given to the poor? Have you, have you, have you done the will of God? Or do you like money enough? What is your idol? What do you idolize? Like a lot of times, like, I believe like a lot of people like to pick at people and point fingers and stuff. And they don't understand that. 
they have eaten the forbidden apple too because there's they sin a different way maybe you don't sin by being a prostitute and maybe you don't do this and you don't go to the club but if is you a lover of money have you fornicate have you lost another woman in your mind or have you lost another man in your mind had you had relationships while you were married as a married man, did you leave your wife to be with someone just because she she wasn't attractive to you anymore? God ain't never said that, you know, marriage was supposed to always stay beautiful and the women supposed to always stay sexy. He says stay married. If it's not infidelity, if it's for infidelity, then you do what you have to do. But at the end of the day, God's word never changed. And I like the way I see how people try to change it and, oh, this and that, oh, oh, because and now you have pastors get married. That's why we don't see miracle. You don't see miracle because we're not living in righteousness. Without righteousness, there can't be miracle. God didn't ask Peter to tell the people that was around him, help, help, help me, help, help me do this and help me do that. God assigned Peter to lay hands and miracles were done. But now we can't find miracles no more because we failed to live in righteousness. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, God said he was looking for one prophet. He couldn't find one, but we have a millions and, you know, God has said this and he has God say this. And, and I respect it. I respect it. You know, I respect it. But in my heart, if you truly want to hear the will of God, it's simple. Just live in righteousness. Live without, you know, being being condemned. Live without being in sin. Try. You know, and I can say that for myself because there's a lot of things. You know, being a Christian is not so easy, guys. It is not so easy. We have faced a lot of calamities, whether we um, watch YouTube and we watch something that our eyes were supposed to see. Because the Bible, remember what he said? He said, Beware what you watch with your eyes, what you hear with your ears. If your eyes cause you to sin, it's better you take them out than to allow it to bring you, all of you, into hell. If your ears cause you to sin, it's better to cut it off. If it's your hand, cut it off. God was very, God was very firm with what he said. He never said, you know what, I'm going to change it for her because I, I like her smile. I like her color. I like, I like who she is. God is no respecter of man, guys. Whatever his words say, that is what it is. That's it. That's it. And how I'm looking at it, we all ate the apple. Whether, whether the biggest, you know, people want to wear who, 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 the popes. The popes want to wear the big dresses. Do as you please. We have all idolized something. And one thing I learned about, you know, people who, like leaders, a lot of times, they get so addicted to power, they forget they're under the submission of God to humble themselves. They're more into lifting, you know, lifting their chest up and you're looking at them as, yeah, it's me. And the Bible says, pray and make sure that nobody worships you. Pray and make sure you don't be worshipped. And I'm just telling y'all today, because I was thinking in the shower and I was like, damn. We all have eaten an apple. You can't find, you know, you. we all have eaten an apple. And until we live in righteousness, we will see miracles. Until we follow the instruction of God, we will see what God has for us. Until then, you're going to be like, why God skipped me? Why he did that? And I went to church. And I, Maybe you're living a life of a lie. Maybe you're living, a, you know, like you're fornicating. You, you're doing what you're not supposed to. And you don't realize it. That you lied in your application to get food stamp or you, you, you did this. And I'm not here to judge anyone. But we all have eaten the apple in our, our way. There's something you idolize. And we have to be careful, y'all. Because God is a God. Boy, that man don't play. He don't play. You see what he did to Adam and Eve. He forgave them. But he punished them. Until death. They were punished until death. So God will forgive you when you sin. But don't think when you pray and seek and this and that. Adam and Eve still love God and they still worship and stuff like that. But they still have to live for the rest of their life with the sin. They still have to, they, they have to be punished. 
But God had mercy on them. He had favor on them. Adam still named all the creation, all the cre um, creations in the world. He still, you know, was in charge of doing this. But at the end of the day, he had disobeyed God and he had to pay the price because he allowed his wife to make him disobey God. Who is you? Who are you allowing to let you disobey God? In this season, we need to start removing barriers. We need to start removing chains off of us. We need to start taking off, cutting off friendship that ha that so that serves us no purpose. In this season, we need to take back our hearts and say, God, I surrender in full control. Even if my I know my paycheck can't um can't pay my bills. But God, if you give me food stamp, let it be your name. Let me not lie on my application. Because there's a lot of Christian people who think they so early, but they lying and they, and they getting food stamp. And they didn't put in the application that they was working because their social security are not active. And I failed to realize, to tell y'all, you holy people, that is a sin. That is a sin. And for you to think that you could trick God, you can't trick God. You can't change his word. God is no respecter of man. Let's get this thing right. If you want to go to heaven, do what you got to do to get in line with your purpose so you can go to heaven. After that, what, what, what happens when we just keep disobeying God? Premature death, things happen, sickness fall, we lay in bed, we can't get up, you know, because of the fact that disobedience brings us closer to death, but righteousness brings us closer to life. So I'm basically telling y'all, get this thing together. Figure it out. Figure it out. Because I can't figure it out for you. I have a lot of things to think about. I have a lot. Of, you just got to analyze your life and everything you do. Hey, you the littlest thing you may think that it's all right and you committed a sin. And I'm not here to judge no one. I promise you. I tell you. I am filled with faults. And, but I'm just telling y'all today. Do not eat the apple anymore. Because we all have our price to pay. And sometimes there's people who pray, pay it real bad. And I want to ask God for favor. Unlike Adam and Eve, that he forgive me and don't give me a punishment that lasts for the rest of my life. Amen? So I love you guys. And until next time, remember to please share, subscribe, like, and vibe. And this is your girl, Pierre Family, flying high to see God. Amen.